Hello, we're back. It's that time of year again when I actually put in effort. Reading vlog time. Oh, Stuart me, Phoebe girl. I am in a very low cut crop top that says, um, <laughs> cat tail on the camera. I'm in a very low cut crop top that says, um, pole life. Explicit content advisory, which is really fucking funny. Uh, this week we are reading uh, Strangers on the Train by Patricia Highsmith, which was a gift from my dear friend Hugo at Scientist Reading World. I love you. Thank you. I can't wait to read this book. I'll get back to you in a sec. Bye. So right off the bat, we have cross-state travel. We have affairs. We have divorce. This is going to be a lot of motives for murder. I'm ready. Oh my god. Okay. Firstly, why is every rich person in these books named Guy? Um, especially if they're shady. Um, secondly, I know someone named Guy, and he's a sweetheart. He's not shady. Thirdly, every time that they say the word divorce in these books, I just hear Adele's um, Instagram live where she goes, Divorce, babe. Divorce. Um, um, divorce, babe. Divorce. So I know that Guy has, like, a girlfriend and a lover. Um that he, like, was cheating on his wife with. However, I ship him with whoever this blonde fucking dude is. Okay, so blonde man is named Bruno. I'm very sure that Bruno has killed somebody just because the way that he's talking about how his dad, like, cut him off and, like, stole from his mom and everything, and he just, the anger that's coming out of him, I'm like, you killed your dad, didn't you? We'll see, though. Hello, I have returned from work. I am back. The nails are green. It's pretty. I'm gonna turn on that because I feel good. I am convinced that the two protagonists of this fucking book are gay for each other. May I present the evidence? Number one, they met on a train. They are strangers. They spoke. Number two, their dialogue is very, 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 very gay coded and I love it. Number three, the plot. Literally, Guy is married to Miriam. They're trying to get a divorce. She doesn't want to get a divorce because she's pregnant by her other dudes, you know, her other dude. And now her baby daddy doesn't want to marry her because he's married already. And then you got fucking Bruno, spoiled little rich kid. His parents cut him off. He's like, you, you, sir, you kill my parents so that I can have that money. And I will kill your ex-wife, or your wife, so she can be your ex-wife, and you can marry your girlfriend. That right there is the recipe for homosexuality. Murder in the favor of someone else. There's nothing more romantic. I want them to meet back up on that train and say, fuck all these other people that we're loving. Let's be with each other. And then they could just be on a honeymoon train forever. It's what I feel. Okay, I don't think that we're supposed to like Bruno. I certainly don't. He's kind of misogynistic. And, and slut Jamie, which I get that this book was written in, like, the 60s, but I'm still like, come on, what the fuck, dude? Can I just say how much I love Patricia Highsmith's writing? Like, this is, inc it's, it's just so beautifully set together to prose. It's wonderful. Carol slash The Price of Salt is one of my favorite books I've ever read. Like, Patricia Highsmith. She's got this fucking shit figured out. It's the next day. Let's finish this book. And that's one murder down. The strangling scene was brutal. Damn. Oi. Okay, hi guys. At work. Um, I had to come to work early because I had a pole rehearsal and I didn't want to drive back home, so I'm just in the waiting, in the, in the break room, but not clocked in. Let's finish this book. <laughs> Maybe we can do it before my shift starts. Let's see. Okay, so Bruno murdered Miriam. And it's interesting because, like, after the murder, like, Guy wasn't in on it. Guy thought that, Mer that Bruno was joking, but, like, not, like, Bruno's obsession with Guy is just... It's so homoerotic. I know it wasn't supposed to be, but it is. And I, I, Bruno is a psychopath and should go to jail. However, it's like a middle school girl level obsession. Bruno really just pulled a Nicki Minaj and was like, I am not gay, but let's be precise. <laughs> so the crazy fucking thing 
is that now, since Bruno killed Miriam, he's, like, straight-up blackmailing Guy into finishing the job and killing his dad. It's really interesting to watch, like, Guy's descent from, like, hating him to being like, okay, I hate this man so much that I'm just gonna fucking kill somebody to get him out of the way, you know? Firstly, he fucking did it. Oh my god. Secondly, I think Anne knows what's up. Anne is Guy's, like, girl that he, like, kind of fiancé, but not quite. She knows what's up. I think she knows. Oh my god, okay, so... Guy and Anne are, like, out to dinner at this, like, thing, and Bruno just fucking showed up and, like, introduced himself to Anne, and, like, <sighs> Bruno's fucking terrifying. Okay, next morning, we're gonna finish this, I promise. We have 50 pages left. Oh my god. I don't know why, but I feel like Anne and, like, Gerard, the detective, are fucking in on this together. They're gonna get these two, and they're gonna be like, y'all motherfuckers are going to jail. I don't know. That's just what I feel. That was a wild ride. Holy shit. I will say I expected the ending, but I liked the way it turned out. Like, I liked... It was a satisfyingly way to expect an ending, you know? But anyway, thank you so much to Hugo for sending me this. I love ya. Thank ya. Um, and thank you for sticking around and helping out. This has been the Bye Book Boy, and I am saying bye.